let's see. Let me see if I can get on here because I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to see your comments. But hello, you are not late. We have started just a few minutes early so that we can check out the new Mevo camera. Thank you to everyone who, oh, let me turn my volume down. Thank you to everyone who helped us to get this. I'm super excited about it. It's a little strange. Um, it is just a little strange because now everything is facing in the right direction. And so like you can read my shirt, but when I went to touch my hair, it's on the other side in the Mevo. Anyway, that is so strange, but thank you everyone. Um, oh wait, I can see comments over here too. So let's see, hello Mindy. Um, yep, okay, there you are. So I can see you there too. Hello, Jennifer. I wasn't sure how this was going to work. I did not know if I was going to be able to actually see you all from the Mevo or if I'd have to do the chat too. But anyway, I've got you on both sides. So hello, my Christy. It is so good to see you. Today is November the 22nd. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. And yes, my Christy, this is the new camera. And Carol Lou, it is the new camera. Y'all are going to have to let me know how does it sound? How does it look? Because I can't actually see myself, which is so strange. And hello, Debbie, because I'm used to watching myself. <laughs> hello, Madeline. I'm used to watching myself while I'm talking. And it's a delay now. Um, so I can't see it. And yes, thank you, Debbie. Thank you for happy. Debbie says happy 200 chat. Thank you very much. Hello, Kim. But please, you all give me some feedback. Let me know how it looks. Hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. And hello, Kathy. Let me know how it looks. How does it sound? Um, yay, wait a minute. It's Rachel's first time doing this live. So Rachel, we have a brand new camera. Um, so you're going to have to let me know how does it look? How does it sound? Hello, Michelle. And yes, Christy, it is 200 chats. So everybody welcome her. She is brand new. Um, let me see. Let me go back and get her name. Hello, Cheryl. It's good to see you. I hope you are doing okay. I know, I know you're not doing great, but I hope you're doing okay. And let's see. Oh, let me go back and find your name. Let's see. Where, where did you go? Where did you go? Anyway, everybody welcome our new people, Rachel. So if you are new, oh, and Carol says she is seeing, seeing subtitles. I have no idea. I have no idea why. And um, and yes, Mindy, the, oh, it is a great way to celebrate 200 chats with the new camera. Awesome. Okay, good. And Christy said it sounds great. Good, 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 good. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie says it looks sound, looks perfect and sounds perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, hello, Rita. You are here. Barbara, I am not in a new spot. We have the new camera. So it is... It's okay. Casey will help you. In case you help you. Okay, John's freaking out a little bit because he is trying to get all of your names um, for the drawing that we're going to be having in the second half. Hello, Marlene. And you all are talking so fast that he's having trouble getting you, but Casey's going to help him. And, oh, and Gail says it looks cinematic. So this is my, actually my, well, it's not my first time using it. I used it. Hello, Janice. Hello, Terry. Oh, thank you. Good. I'm glad it sounds, it sounds clear. Hello, Pam. And thank you. Hello, Evie. But it's my second time using it. I used it for just a few minutes earlier today just to make sure that I knew how to turn it on. Um, we use one of these for our Sunday school class, but honestly, they just barely let me use it. So, and thank you, Sandy. It's good to see you. Hello, Kim. Um, so I'm so happy that everybody's here. Um, oh, yep. And Sylvia, you can see more because it is a so the way the the way the view is the way the camera is it is um it's wide it, it's a wide angle and so yes you can see more so now i'm gonna have to um start you know hello chris so now i'm gonna have to start um i don't know decorating some more oh and debbie says there are subtitles on facebook that is crazy i did not know that hello tanya from um, from mississippi hello betty ann so if you are new, hello Alicia, if you're new, we like to say hi and hello. We are all, oh, and it's Stephanie's first time. Everybody welcome Stephanie, it's her very first time. So everybody's really excited. Hello Trish, um, because we have a new camera and, oh, and Marlene says the picture's very sharp, awesome. Um, and we have, so we have a new camera and it is the 200th chat and I'm so glad that you all say that it sounds great. Um, hello Daniela. Um, because we've been having the trouble the last couple of weeks um, doing, um, you know, getting on here. Oh, and Trish says it is the full screen on her TV now, and I'm not just a strip going down the middle. That is awesome. Hello, Sherry um, from Connecticut. And I'm a little concerned because the Mevo is blinking at me, and I do not know. Oh, oh, it's already lost internet connection. Hello, Chris. Hello, Sean. Um, Hello, 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 hello all the new people. So I got a little bit nervous because the Mevo lost the internet connection for just a second. The good news is that it um, that it keeps 
recording. So that is the, I guess that's the bonus of having this instead of just having the iPad is that it will keep recording. Thank you, Claudie. Thank you everyone on the 200 chats. Um, yeah, we are super, super excited. Um, yeah, thank you, Evie. Hello, Connie. Oh, it's Connie from Missouri and it's her first time. So everybody welcome her. Um, if you are, oh, thank you, Donna. It's good to see you. So hello, Deborah. So this is pretty cool because I think I can see all of you all. And Irma says she could tell right away. Um, oh my gosh. And my Christy said she had to turn the sound down on her end. That's the very first time y'all have ever said that. Oh, and this is Tanya's first time. Tanya, T-A-N-Y-A. -A. And yes, Trish, Trish, I think we're catching back up. For some reason, the internet glitched. So it looks like I will be calling Comcast um, this week because I thought it was the iPad that was kind of, you know, freezing up on the internet. But... I guess I'll be able to tell them that it wasn't, uh, yeah, that it wasn't the iPad. Um, hello, Janice. Yeah, so everybody that's new, everybody um, that has been here for a while, has, is there anybody here who has been to all 200 chats? I don't think there is. I don't think we have anybody that's been here to all 200. Um, I did wear my t-shirt that says I was live for chat 100. Um, hello, Lynn. That's the second time I've seen you today. Casey has made us a special, um, a special badge. And um, we're gonna, we can put that on the spread shirts if y'all wanna order any shirts from them. Um, of course, I will be ordering one, but um, yeah, it's super exciting, great. And Barbara says I'm coming in clear and the sound is great, awesome, because y'all have been fussing the last couple of weeks about the sound. So I'm gonna start again since we are doing so well and we have so many people here. Let me see, can I even tell how many people? We have almost 100 people here, so that is awesome. So I will keep talking, but today is November the 22nd. This is chat number 200 and I am um, Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and Deborah says she can't believe it's 200. I can't either and Trish says it's so clear and I know. So thank you everyone who helped us get it. Um, but if you are brand new, we love to say hi and hello. Everybody likes to greet each other. Um, and here is Donna. You know, Donna hasn't seen all of them live, but she has watched almost all, she's watched almost all of them. Awesome. Uh, oh, and Roberta says her picture is frozen, but she still has great sound. Okay, I can see the picture moving on my end. So hopefully, you know, we're going, um, going well. Janice um, was here at 100. Barbara says she thinks that she came in on 30. And Debbie, so Orlando Debbie, John tried to figure out every way he could to get down there for the 200th chat. And I said, well, you know, you're just going to have to make sure that we're down there for 300 and maybe for 250. But anyway, so we're going to keep talking because we will sit here and talk about the camera and the 200 and we'll just keep on and on and on. John is in there hurriedly writing your names down. If you said hi or hello, he is writing your name down because you are automatically entered into the contest that will be in the second half. We will be drawing two lucky winners' names um, at about 8, I kept saying 7.55 and John kept saying no, 8.55. So at about 8.55, oh, and Lynn's been here for about 185 of them. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, but he is quickly writing down all of your names. So say hello, say hi, say something. Hello, Tiffany. So that he will know that you are there and he can get your name written down. And we already had probably 50 names in the bucket um, of people who commented over on Instagram. Um, hello, Myrna. And so we'll be drawing, and hello, Rosie. So we will be drawing at about 8.55. We will be drawing for two prizes. And hello, Kimberly from Oklahoma. And Katie is excited. Um, but we are going to, um, we're going to get going because this is the 200th chat. And I have lots and lots and lots to talk to you all about in the second half. Um, I will say this, hello, Michelle from North Carolina. I will say this, we were going to, and hello, Sherry. We were going to um, talk some about the new, um, about the new uh, My WW Plus. Hello, Vicki. We were going to talk about that. So, oh, wait. It's Tiffany's first time catching us live. She said she usually catches us on YouTube. So, hello to you. And hello, Kim. And Rita. That's funny. I don't know which screen to look at. Rita says, what kind of camera did we end up getting? It is a Mevo Start. Oh, see, and there it is. Okay, it's a little bit delayed over here. But we ended up getting a Mevo Start. And again, I'm super happy with it so far. We'll be talking to the cable company about the internet. But I am super happy with the camera so far. So you all keep talking to John. Um, he and Case, Casey's doing this from home and he is out there busily writing your names down um, to help you all get entered for our lovely prizes. Hello, Phyllis. But we are uh, gonna be talking about next week, not this week, next week, we will be talking about the new uh, My WW Plus program. I was gonna talk about it this week, but it's the it's the 200th chat. So, you know, we have to do 200 chat things. And hello, Beanie from um, Tennessee. It's her first time. Hello, 
oh, it's very good to see you. Um, but so we'll be talking about that next week. Um, I did want to remind everybody that Casey and I went crazy. Hello, Deborah. That we went crazy and um, filled up on the skinny syrup. So hello, Lee. We will be talking about skinny syrups later in the chat. Um, and thank you, Sylvia from Canada. Um, so we'll be talking about those later in the chat. Just wanted to remind everybody. Um, hello, Lisa. So super de duper exciting to be here for the 200th chat. Um, this all started. Hello, Loretta. This all started with I don't even know what. I don't even remember why. I don't even remember how this started. But anyway, so the very first one was probably, I don't know, I think it was me eating some Chick-fil-A or something. I don't, I don't even remember. I'd have to go back and look at it. But we have done 200 chats. And Betty wants to know how many years that is. So, Betty, let's see. It's a chat a week, and we've only missed a couple. So, since we've only missed a couple of chats, um, I don't know. I mean, that would have to be more than 200. would have to be what, four years, I guess? I don't know. Somebody will have to do the actual math on that for me because we've only missed just a few of them, just a couple of them. And yes, Barbara, we are putting up the ladder again this year, but it'll be inside instead of outside, you know, like we like to do. And yes, Casey said it's been almost four years. So that's crazy to, that's crazy to, to just think about that. Um, but everybody who attends tonight um, and comments on the 200th live, um, you get a special badge. I'll be handing out badges later, um, a lot, like much later. Um, I'll be handing out special badges on that and that Casey created for us absolutely free. So thank you very much, Casey. Um, and if you'd like, again, if you'd like to get a t-shirt, a mug, you know, something commemorative, Casey um, has made that badge available on Spreadshirt. And we'll post that link later because it's too it's too long to say here, but we'll spread, we will, um, yeah, so we'll share that link later, um, but you can get it put on, again, like a t-shirt. You can get it put on a mug. Hello, Kathy. You can get it put on an apron, like the apron that I wear in the second half. Um, yeah, so let's get going, though, because it is already 10 after, and again, John's out there busily writing your names down for the second half. Um, quickly, we are going to have, and yeah, and Terry just found us this month, so um, we are going to have two giveaways in the second half. I'm going to show you what we're giving away in the second half. And hello, Sherry. Um, but first, everybody who was at the 2.30 Zoom meeting here in Knoxville, and I think I got everybody. I think I did. And hello, Nancy. Oh, and Kim was here for 100. Yeah, so Kim was here for 100. So was I. And I think I got everybody from the 2.30 Zoom meeting here in Knoxville. If you did... Oh, that's so sweet. I just realized Tanya just pointed out she started on the 200th chat. That is so cute. And yes, Dusty is out there somewhere with John. He's out there somewhere with Daddy. Hmm. Um, but everybody from the 2.30, if you want to go to a 2.30 Weight Watchers Zoom meeting, a WW Zoom meeting, you can come to the Knoxville one. Um, if you have a current WW membership, then you um, you know, you can come. So our I attend the one. It's not my meeting, but I attend the one on... And hello, Kelly. And hello, Samantha. Um, but I attend the one um, in Knoxville on Sundays at 2.30. And I think, I think I got everybody, but today I saw Ann, Sue, Debbie, Sherry, Myrna, Kathy, Sue, another Sue, Mindy, Lynn, Sandy with a Y, Sandy with an I, Jackie, Roberta, Kim, Trish, Kristen, Tracy, Gwen, and Linda. So I think I got everybody. Hopefully I did. Um, but they were at the, uh, at the Zoom today, uh, the Knoxville Zoom today. So that leads me to the next thing. If you are brand new... Oh, and Kim was at the two. Yeah, I didn't get your name. Oh no, Kim was brand new at the two thirty. You didn't have your camera on, did you? And you have to say hi to me so that I know that you're there. You can say hi to me in the chat. Um, okay. So last week, new people. We do this every single week. Um, I ask who attended either a physical workshop last week. So if you went to a physical workshop last week and sat your bottom in a chair, hmm, then hit this little like I can do it because I'm on with us right now. Yeah, so you can do the little thumbs up if you attended a workshop last week and sat your bottom of a little chair. Um, or if you went to a Zoom meeting last week, you can also do the thumbs up. And if you had, and Linda, that's awesome that you have a bony bottom now. Or if you attended here with us live or did both, then let's see some hearts. And actually I attended here with us live last week and I attended a Zoom. So I, oh, I think I did a heart. Hold on. I did. I did a heart. Okay. So everybody who either sat your bottom in a chair, attended a WW Zoom meeting, or you were here with us last week, here are your vir virtual Bravo stickers. Oh, and Nancy with the, the, the Knoxville Zoom. You'll have to tell me these things because if you don't have your, 
If you don't have your last name on there or you don't have your picture on, I don't know that it's you. Um, so hello everybody that was there. Um, but here are your virtual Bravo stickers. And remember, if you want a real Bravo sticker, we have those over on ifyouhaveanegg.com and you can download those and print them and you can use them however you would like. And there's Dusty, I hear the mascot now. He's out there shaking, probably trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, but last week we was chat number 199, of course, because this week is chat number 200. So for chat number 199, we were making some kind of attempt to have some form of normal Thanksgiving, or at least as normal as we could have it. So um, for those of you in the United States, our U.S. Thanksgiving is this coming Thursday. I'm sure you all haven't been asleep. I'm sure you know that it's coming this Thursday. Um, and if you are, oh, take did two Zooms in person uh, this week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Friday is Black Friday. So I'm just curious, is anybody actually going Black Friday shopping? Casey and I are safely, safely, safely. Um, Canada, sorry, can't remember what your, um, I cannot remember <laughs> when your Thanksgiving is, but ours is this week. And last week for chat number 199, we were just trying to have some form of normal. So we were trying to do, you know, some form of normalcy. So I know Turkey Day for a lot of us is going to be very different. Um, a lot of people are not going anywhere. Some people are going, um, you know, some people are going to be um, staying at home alone. I know like Lynn is going to be um, at home. She's going to be having Turkey Day by herself this year. Um, a lot, of, a lot of people are going to be having smaller ones. Some people are doing, um, are doing Zoom, you know, um, Thanksgiving things like that. Um, so, you know, with the numbers soaring all around the country, sadly, then everybody's going to, you know, it's going to just be strange. And Loretta says they're not having any family gatherings this year in Pennsylvania. So none for any. For, so no, nobody can have a family gathering in Pennsylvania. Is that, is that right? Is that what you're saying? Um, because we're having, they're having a meeting here in Knox County um, tomorrow night to see if they're going to limit how many people you know, can it can attend one. Um, oh no, and my Christy has to cook a turkey. Oh, I want to know how that goes, how that goes. But, um, but anyway, so, um, and thank you, Tag. So anyway, we, last week was just an attempt, you know, to have some form of normal, you know, for Thanksgiving or to talk about some having some kind of normal. But I even heard a local, oh wow, so no, nobody can have, what? Nobody can go anywhere in Pennsylvania? That is so weird. Okay. Um, but, Anyway, I even heard on the local news here, I think it was today, it was either today or yesterday, that some of the food banks around town are having trouble um, getting turkey, getting the smaller turkeys like they put for people in their food baskets because everybody is going to, um, because everybody is trying to get a smaller turkey or just a turkey breast, you know, since there's going to be fewer, you know, fewer people gathering for Thanksgiving. Um, but your homework for last week was hashtag dine in, dine out. Um, oh, and it'll be, I forgot it's going to be Carol's first Thanksgiving with Peanut. Um, but your homework last week was, ha was hashtag um, dine in, dine out. And what you were doing for that was to um, use one of the five methods that we had listed um, last week during our chat to try and beat the holiday madness. And so let's see how you did. So several of you came in at the last minute with your homework. Um, but these are the three that I chose um, for your hashtag dine, in, dine out homework. And new people, we have homework every single week. And you have to turn your homework in. Um, but Lynn said, since I will be alone for Thanksgiving, I'm making myself a Cornish game hen, a Cornish hen. So she's going to have a little tiny hen. It's going to be adorable. Stovetop stuffing, a baked sweet potato, and that man's green beans. And Carol Lou came up with that man's green beans. Just enough for lunch and dinner with no leftovers. My friend is bringing me by a piece of pecan pie, and that will be perfect. Thanksgiving celebration for one. So good job, Lynn. That definitely was hashtag dine in, dine out. She did use one of the five um, things that we went over last week. Loretta said, cheers to me. My husband brought home lemon meringue pie, and I did have a small piece instead of half the pie. My mind is getting better with food. And then listen to this last statement. So I thought this last statement was actually the best part of what she said. So awesome, Loretta, that you only had um, a, small, a small piece instead of eating half the pie. And her mind is getting better with the food. But listen to this last sentence. I know there's plenty. So don't some of us eat things? I don't know why we do that. I mean, we haven't been in a depression. I mean, and even even when, um, you know, months ago when COVID first started and people were trying, you know, kind of hoarding food and, you know, toilet paper and stuff like that, um, we still didn't really have, you know, uh-oh, Lee says there's no sound. Is anybody else having trouble with sound? I don't have mine turned up, so I can't tell. Um, but, 
you know, but, I, but there was still food. Um, but she, but does anybody else eat like that? You know, like you, like you, you know, you eat like you're not going to have the next meal. I thought, I don't know. I just thought that was a great ending to her, you know, to her statement and to her homework. And then Marlene said, thank you, Casey. And then Marlene said, part of my snack before um, Thanksgiving meal plan, she has these little cups um, that she has chilled and she sent a picture. She posted a picture of them, but she said she has these little cups that she keeps chilled beforehand. And she also plans to have a veggie tray. Thank you, everybody. Um, and she's wishing all the members a very happy Thanksgiving and her celebration will be quieter, smaller than past years, but she's thankful for all she has. So they were super adorable, tiny little fruit cups and she keeps them chilled. And I thought that was, you know, I thought that was a great, great idea. So for everybody who did your homework, here you go. Here are more Bravo stickers. Remember, we give out Bravo stickers. Um, we didn't stop doing that, even though they're virtual Bravo stickers. But congratulations to everybody, and thank you all for commenting on the sound. Um, this week, though, this week is chat number 200. 200. I still can't believe. I still can't believe that. But anyway, so for chat number 200, we are talking about WW's topic this week. This last week, um, new people. We are always one week behind because we are doing a recap of the prior week. Uh-oh, what happened to Tag? Mm, I did not see that. I'll have to go back and look at that later. Um, but we are, so new people, we are always a week behind. So if you are a virtual member or if you do, if you are lucky and get to attend an actual meeting, um, then we are always one week behind because um, we are doing a recap from the prior week. So last week we talked about the simplest way to stay on track. And, um, and Barbara, I did see that you did your homework. Mm -hmm. I did see that. Yep. And I'll have to go back and I'll have to go back and give you your little sticker for that. Um, but so for chat number 200, woo, 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 we're talking about the simplest way to stay on track. So, um, it is, um, ah, hold on. I'm not used to having my notes like this. So it is star goals. So I know we have talked about star goals in the past. And this time we are using the star goals um, to try, you know, try and stay on track this holiday season. And this, this year, especially since it's COVID, and hello, Susie, this year, especially since it is COVID, since we've had, you know, I mean, just craziness going on this year and everything, anything weird that happens right now, we just, we just say, that's just so COVID of you. That's just so COVID of you, or that's so COVID of that to, you know, to do, you know, X, Y, or Z. Um, but star goals, in case you don't know what your star goals are, you can go back and print out. You can always go back and print out um, your homework, or your, your homework, your weekly. So that was week five in the series from WW, and it was, date, it was dated November the 15th through the 21st, if you need some help um, going to find that. But star goals, it just spells out S-T-A-R, and star stands for the S is for specific, the T is for truly doable, the A is for active, and the R is for relevant. So specific, so for Turkey Day, it's Turkey Day in the U.S. here in just a couple of days, um, and we're going to be having, so this year, instead of stressing out over big meals, big messes, lots of people in and out, um, we're going to be trying to figure out how to deal with having fewer people there, um, we have, I know Rosie, I'm not backwards. You can actually read my shirt. Um, but anyway, and it's so weird to me because now I'm backwards to myself instead of to you all. But anyway, so, um, you're gonna have fewer people. Some of you are dining in, some of you are dining alone. Um, oh, and Irma saw it. Okay. So I don't need to hold them up that, that close anymore. Cause Irma says that page looked huge. So I, yeah, I guess since we have the full screen now, I can hold them back. I don't have to hold them up so close anymore. But anyway, so it's just going to be weird. It's just going to be weird this year. So, um, you know, in the past, when we would talk about star goals, you know, I would get all excited. Of course, we were at a physical, you know, workshop. I would get all excited. I'd write them down. You know, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I would lose my piece of paper before I ever got home or probably even before I ever got to the car. So now you can use on WW Plus and um, you can use your app and it lets you fill out what your star goal is going to be and you can do one every single week if you want to and you can do it for any topic that you want to um but it lets you keep it on there um and so and so you can you, you can do this you can totally do this and not have to worry about losing your piece of paper but what is star so again specific truly doable active and relevant so if we're going to do a star goal based on the holiday that is coming up um First, you want to make sure that it is specific. So you want to make sure that your goal for this holiday, um, whether it's large or small, is S specific. 
Um, so for an example, if you want to say, it's like if you were thinking that you were going to make your goal, you know, I will eat less. Oh, and thank you, Mindy. I will eat less. Um, I'll just eat less food. Well, you can't measure that. So you don't know how you did. So that's not specific enough. Instead, try saying something like, you know, I will put my fork down in between every bite so that I will eat less. So that's very specific. Um, so that's a good that's a good S one on the start. Um, truly doable. So if your goal is to become vegan this holiday, but you have a 20 pound turkey thawing in your refrigerator, that's probably not going to happen. So that's it's not truly doable. Um, instead, try cutting back on some meat and some processed foods, con concentrating on roasted veggies and maybe a special fruit cocktail or a mocktail um, instead. So that can make it truly doable. You want to make it active. So what they mean by active is that you're going to do something and not that you're going to not do something. So you're much more likely to actually make your goal if you're planning on doing something instead of planning on not doing something. So rather than saying, I won't eat any of grandma's special dessert that I can only get once a year, because who's going to do that? Because then you're just going to get mad and you're just going to want it you know, more. So instead of saying something like that, um, say, some, you know, make your goal something like, I will try, I will wait until everyone else has gotten their, you know, their helping of grandma's um, special treat. And then I'll help myself to one serving and I'll count it. So that would be a good one. Yeah. So help yourself to one, let everybody else go first because it looks gross by the time they get done. And maybe you won't be so tempted. Maybe there won't be as much of it left. Make sure you get one serving of it and then tracking it would be even better. So that's an active um, part of it. And then relevant. So this might sound obvious, um, but, you know, or something that you should just, you know, that you do it. Um, this, so this might sound obvious, but we do this all the time. I do this all the time. Um, the goal has to be relevant to you, not to somebody else, and not something that you just think you should do. So a lot of times my goals are things that I just think I should do and not things that I that are actually relevant, you know, to me. So for an example, if your aunt thinks that you should take all the leftovers home, um, but your goal was to get in a walk, maybe instead of meeting your aunt's goal, maybe to meet your goal, um, you can help her get the containers out, help her get them organized and pick out, you know, who would like something, you know, I think Jim would like some of this and Susan would like some of that, you know, and she, you know, Mary over there said that she really, really wanted some of your, you know, whatever X, Y, and Z. And then you go ahead and take your walk while she's putting things in those containers and handing them out to everyone else. So that is a star goal. Normally at this point in our chat, um, I give you your homework, but your homework this week is just hashtag chat 200. Hashtag chat 200. That's all you have to do. You literally don't have to do anything else other than just have watched with us live or watch this later on demand, um, and you'll earn this week's badge. That's all you gotta do. So just comment that you were here. Um, comment that you were here, even if it's later. Um, you know, even if you watch it later, just comment that you were here, um, tag me, and I will make sure that you get your um, super cool badge from Casey. It's just hashtag, hashtag chat 200. Y'all got too much to do, even if you're having dinner by yourself, even if you're just gonna have a couple of people over, there's too much to do this week. Plus I'm super pumped about chat number 200. Okay. So do not go anywhere though, because for the second half of our chat, we are going to be celebrating um, the chat 200. We are going to be getting ready to draw for our two lucky winners at the very end of the chat. And we're gonna be making three absolutely delicious things with the skinny syrups. You all know, you all knew. Yeah, Debbie, no kidding. I won't eat 20, a 20 point piece of pop. Mm-hmm, yeah. No, it makes it, make it active. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be celebrating. We're going to be getting ready for that drawing. Um, but every, we're going to make three absolutely delicious things tonight with, um, the, we're going to use the skinny syrups in all three of them. Um, because as y'all already know, if you've been here more than one chat, so new people, y'all are off the hook. But if you've been here more than one chat, then you would know, oh my gosh, okay, and Casey says, what are the glamorous prizes they would, they could win? I will show you in just a moment. Um, but if you've been here for more than one chat, then you know that Casey and I went crazy and ordered way too many skinny syrups. So first thing is we take a break. So we are almost at the 30 minute mark, but because, and yes, Barbara water soon, and because, um, because we started a few minutes early, then um, I am gonna go ahead and take my water break. So if you are new people, and yes, Michelle, so if you're new people, this means water, go ahead and grab your water. 
take a big sip. I've been talking nonstop for 30, a little over 30 minutes now. So get your water. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get my apron on because some of what we are making tonight is a little bit messy. <laughs> and Haley says, I always order too many skinny syrups. Yes. The only bonus is I have people here at work who will help me to consume them. Um, okay. So new people. For the second half, we usually make something next week for the second half. We will be doing all, um, everything for the second half next week is going to have to do with um, WW My Way Plus, so not nearly as exciting as tonight. But um, I will say this, if you don't win, so if you are not one of, our, one of our lucky winners, and I will show you the prizes here in just a moment, but if you are not one of our lucky winners um, tonight, sorry, it's so, you know, sorry, but we are going to have um just for chat 200 we are not publishing this anywhere oh i'm sorry casey says or a daughter who buys six of them before they hit the shelves yeah they weren't even out of the boxes and casey had bought six of them already um but in honor of chat 200 and for those of you who sorry didn't win anything um we are going to do um 20 off of actually it's of anything that you get at casey kitchen center but i'm not publishing this so only people who were here with us or who are listening, hello Teresa, or who were listening later, listening or watching later, you're the only people that are gonna get this deal, okay? So we're not publishing this anywhere, we're not printing this anywhere. So just for people that were here for the 200th chat, we're gonna have 20% off. So 20% off of skinny syrups, 20% off of coffee, 20% off of the tea, 20% off of all of that, of everything that I have on the website. And it's either, you can either go to kckitchencenter.com or you can go to if you have an egg.com. And when you check out, the code is CHAT200. Hmm, and imagine that. So CHAT200. Okay, so that's just for you all, though. And it's from today until November the 28th. And then that's it. And I'm not running any more specials. So that's the only special. So if y'all want them, you got to get them while you can. Okay, so prize package number one. Prize package number, prize package number one. Some lucky winner is going to get this. And it will be, they're going to get, of course, it'll be unopened. This is my opened one. Um, it'll be unopened, but you are going to get a bottle of Skinny Syrups um, um, Irish Cream, which I have already taste tested for you. And, and of course, they will be in brand new and open. And yes, Rachel, if you come in the store, yes, you can use the code. Just let the girls know that you need to use CHAT200. And when they go through checkout, they will put in the code for you. But that's a great question, Rachel. Um, but it's, it is a bottle of the um, Skinny Syrups Irish cream. I'll even throw in a pump. The pumps don't come with these, but I'll throw one of these in. And it's going to be um, one of the Dax Chocolate Crave. You will get that. And you're going to get one of these super cool. Let me put it back on here. Hey, John, I need some hot water in a minute. My lovely assistant has to come in here and help me. Um, and you'll get one of these lovely uh, little Yes, please, hot water. Um, I keep calling it the wrong thing. It's not a little snoozy. Casey, come on, help me. Little toasty. Little toasty. I got it before she told me. You will get one of these awesome little toasties um, from Casey. And if you want the sparkly green one, you are, because I thought it went well with the Irish cream. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make something with the Irish cream. So prize package number one is a... Skinny Syrups Irish Cream with a pump. It'll be closed. It will not be this one. A Dax Spices Chocolate Crave. And one of Casey's Little Toasties. Little Toasties. Yeah. Okay. So, what we're, what we're going to make with this, though. I'm not putting it in this cup. I'm going to use this glass one. So, what we're going to do. First thing we're going to make is a um, Bailey's Hot Chocolate. And for the Bailey's Hot Chocolate, we are going to take, you can just have any kind of, you know, mug or whatever, and you're going to take a sugar-free or a reduced calorie hot cocoa pack. So nothing fancy. Oh, John, I'm sorry. I need the Ready Whip, too. He's going to kill me. So you put one of those in there, and it's just either sugar-free or a reduced calorie one. So these should be one um, smart point each. For those, you're going to put that in there, and then you're going to add four pumps of the Irish cream. 
and four pumps is one ounce so thank you four pumps is one ounce and i did figure out if you do not have a pump so if you already have if you already have these but you don't have a pump one tablespoon is equal to two pumps so if you don't have if you don't have a pump and if you hear me say four pumps two tablespoons is equal to one pump so four pumps would be two tablespoons make sense okay so we did four pumps of that then i'm going to take my hot water that john just brought me and put that in here so you're going to add the appropriate amount of hot water for whatever size you know when wow that's hot water whatever size mug you were using stir it up really good so this is irish cream in regular hot cocoa so this is not like peppermint hot cocoa or anything like that this is irish cream in there let me get that stirred really well okay and then on top of that no and let me go ahead and give you the points so on the bailey's hot chocolate um it is going to be it's two smart points blue two green or two purple because oh yeah i'm sorry casey well i didn't use the right spoon casey said i'm stirring because i'm not a lazy barista so here's the correct spoon to stir with if you're not a lazy barista and we do have these at casey kitchen center now these are from our friend mrs petal java so because i'm not a lazy barista and then you're going to just add some whipped topping to that and then you're going to sprinkle some of the dax chocolate crave on there look how pretty that is Ooh, it's so pretty so there you have that okay i'm sorry i'm used to holding this up so high for you all um and i don't really have to and look this would be a good opportunity to use casey's little toasty so that i don't burn my hand off with this super hot glass container so there you go okay so you all saw how much trouble i was having holding that without the little toasty and now i can hold it just fine but if you want to add something super super special to this you can also make and i'm not going to show you all how to make these because we just don't have that kind of time but you can also make you can take i just took some plastic spoons and i used um the uh, lily's white chocolate chips and melted them and then i used um they were, these are brock's already crushed candy canes how lazy is that <laughs> anyway so i made my own little chocolate covered spoons and the chocolate covered spoons um because i made my own and they're not dripping in chocolate and they don't have six thousand pounds of you know um peppermint on them that made these one point each one blue one green or one purple and if you wanted to you could stir that in your um you could stir that in your hot chocolate in your bailey's hot chocolate or i also made some little mini candy canes and the little mini candy canes are also one point because the candy cane is just barely dipped in the white chocolate and how cute would that be so we'll just stick that little guy right there so how cute is that so now i have my little toasty i have my whipped cream i've got my bailey's hot chocolate and if you win at 855 you can have yours too so oh that's so good <laughs> this is my favorite part this is actually my favorite part is getting to test everything okay so that was prize number one that was prize pack number one you could win the baileys the chocolate crave and the little toasty from casey let me put my little spoon back up we will save that for something else and um, this next one is not part of a prize pack sorry this is not part of a prize pack but this is another one of the skinny syrups that we have that we have here at casey kitchen center and remember because you were here for the chat um, if you were either here for the chat or you're listening or you're watching this later, um, you, um, you know, you can, you can use the coupon code and you can get this yourself. So this one is not part of a prize pack, but you could use the 20% off. And remember, you just go to kckitchencenter.com. It's the letter K, the letter C, kitchencenter.com. Or you can go to ifyouhaveaneg.com and go to products, I think, recommendations. I never remember. You'd think it was my website. But anyway, this one you could get 20% off of. This is the Skinny Syrups Peppermint Bark. And what I did with this, I used it to make um, overnight oats. So the overnight oats, 
are just like, and thank you, Casey, the overnight oats are just like the every other thing of overnight oats that we've been making. So if y'all remember, I didn't think I liked them. So I did not think I liked overnight oats and still until you all started sending me all these crazy recipes to make with them. Yeah, and they've been super, super good. So for this one, and apparently I'm talking really fast so I can slow down just a little bit. For this one, um, I just used old fashioned oats. Remember, you have to use old fashioned oats. Um, I tried using quick cook oats the first time. Mm -mm. Apparently that was what was wrong with every other um, with every other thing of overnight oats that I tried to make was I had used quick cook oats. They don't work. You have to use old fashioned oats. Then I used some almond milk and that recipe is already on. If you have an egg.com or Jessica will be posting this in the next couple of days. Um, you, I do use chia seeds. I don't know why. It's a tea, it's a one point for a teaspoon of chia seeds, but it just seems like it's the thing to do. So I've been doing it. And plain non-fat Greek yogurt. But then here's the twist. So here's the twist on that. You're going to use four pumps, which is an ounce, or two tablespoons. Because remember I told you four pumps is one ounce. Two pumps is one tablespoon. So if you're going to do four pumps, that would be two tablespoons if you don't have if you don't already have um, a pump. So if you have bought skinny syrups in the past or if you are buying them from us and you just don't want the pumps, one tablespoon is two pumps. Okay, so that makes a half an ounce. So you want four pumps of the peppermint bark. Okay, so I'm going to try not to blind you all because, oh, but look, that's so cool that, let's see, I'm going the wrong direction. That's so cool, though, that it is facing forward because all of your words have been backwards all, all of these years. They've been backwards. So anyway, you're going to do four pumps of the peppermint bark, and then you're going to mix all that together, and you're going to put it in the refrigerator and leave it overnight. So, because remember, it's overnight oats. When you're done, though, when you're done, though, you are going to take... A teaspoon uh, you don't have to get the Brock's crushed candy canes hello Lisa you don't have to get the Brock's crushed candy canes Um, I just got those because I didn't have time to you know chop them up but you're gonna put a teaspoon yep you're gonna put a teaspoon of the crushed up candy canes on top so you've got a teaspoon of that then you're gonna add 12 of the Lily's white chocolate chips. So I want y'all to notice this was full like probably a week and a half, two weeks ago maybe. Alyssa has discovered them. So not that she can reach them, but she has discovered them. So yeah, my white, my Lily's white chocolate chips are no longer full. And you'll have to ask Casey how she says it because she goes, Nona, I like it, you white chocolate chips. Anyway, so I can't really turn this upside down and show you. Oh yeah. And since you all can see everything, I don't have to move it so close anymore. But I can't really turn it upside down. Um, but I will take a bite of it for you, though. So this one is the um, this is the peppermint white chocolate overnight oats. It's got the peppermint bark skinny syrups in there, um, and then I added some um, I added some some peppermint, some crushed candy canes, and some white chocolate chips. Do you hear that? Do you hear that sound? Nona, do you know what that is? Do you hear that? Mmm. That is like candy. That is like dessert for breakfast. That is seriously like dessert for breakfast. So that one, man, that's good. That one is six points on blue, seven points on green. Sorry, green people, but y'all get more points than the rest of us do. And three points on purple. So good. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so this one's not one of the giveaway items, but you can always order this. You can order it on caseykitchencenter.com or you can get it on, if you have an egg.com. Um, yeah, so good. So yummy. 20% off with chat 200 at checkout. And yes, if you are here in Knoxville, you can. We will enter that for you, chat 200. Okay, and John, are you in there hard at work? Can we bug you or do I need to go get the ice myself? Hmm? John, is, he is hard at work getting your entries in there. So, the last thing that we are going to make 
before we have before we have our big drawing is another one of the giveaways. So this one for this giveaway we have another skinny syrup. Oh, and Tedders, you have so got to try the Lily's chips. So, and yes, Char, we are gonna we do print the we do post these on our website. It's on if you have an egg.com. Um and Jessica usually does like one a day so that we don't overload you all with things. Um, and you may actually have to knock it on the on the countertop, sorry. Um, but Jessica usually load she usually uploads them one like one a day so that you don't get three and four recipes all at the same time. Um, but this one is another one of our giveaways. This is the Skinny Syrups Maple Bourbon Pecan. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that one sounded super, super good to me. Um, that should be plenty. That sounded super good to me, um, and I'll tell you, it is yummy. So this is in giveaway number two, Maple Bourbon Pecan. Then we have Petal Java, our friends Petal Java. Um, the, their beans are locally roasted here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, and they are busy roasting beans right now as we speak because they have a big holiday event coming up this weekend. And actually, um, I will be at their event on Saturday and Casey will be there on Sunday. And Loretta, if you don't have Lily's chips in your area, you can get them on um, Amazon. Um, but they are busy roasting beans um, for you all for this weekend. But this giveaway has the maple bourbon, maple bourbon pecan. And remember, these are non-alcoholic. If you want to add alcohol, you can, but they are non-alcoholic. Um, and then we are giving away a bag of the already ground Petal Java. Um, it's called Turkey Days. And if you'll notice, Mr. Petal Java, Andrew, is asleep on the couch in this one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so a bag of this and some of the Dax salt-free spices, the Red Mountain Rub. So this is in prize pack number two. And we've only got about 10 minutes before we're going to draw those names to give those away. But what we're going to make with this one, again, super yummy, because you all know, I test, I taste test this stuff, you know, for your protection, you know, before I ever, before I ever give it to you all to make. But what we're going to do with this one, we are going to make a cold brew um, coffee. So for this cold brew coffee, you are going to need coffee. So this is cold brewed turkey days and you can get these um you can get the cold brew kits here at casey kitchen center um you can get the coffee here at casey kitchen center or if you happen to be in knoxville they are going to be um at the pedal will be at the pedal java location and I tr trust me they will have plenty of this there for you to you know for you to purchase um but that's the turkey days coffee so i went ahead and made some turkey days cold brew so i've got that ready i have almond milk Okay, because of the flavor of this coffee, and I had to ask Ashley what it was before I ever opened it, before I ever decided what I was gonna do with this, but because of the flavor of this coffee, um, instead of instead of like caramel syrup or chocolate syrup or something like that, we're actually gonna use Carrie's sugar-free um, pancake syrup. We're gonna use that in there. Um, and then there's gonna be a special treat for the top that y'all are gonna be surprised about. The special treat that's on the top, that recipe, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but that recipe is already on if you have an egg.com. Y'all just have to wait for it. So um, I really feel like Ash, I feel like I'm channeling Ashley. Oh, and thank you, Casey posted the holiday market. So we will be at the Petal Java holiday market um, at their warehouse here in Knoxville. And we will be there Saturday and Sunday from 10 to four. Um, but we're gonna do about an ounce of um, the Kerry sugar-free syrup in the bottom. Um, so we're gonna do that in the bottom of our cup. Then we are gonna add about four ounces of the cold brew. And remember, if you don't have a pump, and uh, Larry, Mary, Mary, you, just by commenting, all you have to say is chat 200, Mary, and you are entered, you are entered in the drawing. Um, cause that's how you enter. You just say, Hey, yep. And exactly. So Mary just told you, you just entered. Okay. So because this one doesn't have a pump. So remember I told you, if you don't have a pump, that one tablespoon equals two pumps. So I'm going to show you all with the tablespoon on this one. So instead of doing four pumps, I'm going to do two tablespoons of the maple pecan, maple bourbon pecan, because that's the same as four pumps. So I'm going to put that in there. And then 
I'm going to stir because I'm not a lazy barista. And I so hope, I so hope that Ashley's watching this and heard me say that I'm not a lazy barista because I'm such a lazy barista. But these are the super cool spoons that Ashley sells, um, Mrs. Petal Java. And so I'm going to stir. So I'm stirring, what I'm stirring up is my um, Carrie Sugar Free Pancake Syrup and the coffee, the Petal Java uh, Turkey Days Coffee and my maple pecan, maple bourbon pecan skinny syrup. So, and remember, if you sadly do not win one of the fabulous prizes, one of the fabulous two giveaways, then you can just go to check out at kckitchencenter.com or at ifyouhaveanegg.com and enter chat 200 um, at checkout. And it's, you know, so easy and you'll get 20% off. And that's only through November the 28th. And Terry wants to know how to make cold brew coffee. Terry, that's a whole nother chat. And we, I don't remember what chat number it is, but we do have a chat for that. We do have a chat for that. Um, so they actually have a kit. So we have a kit that we sell through via whatever um, Petal Java and it is a cold brew kit and it makes it so easy. Then we're gonna add some ice. And then on top of that, and if you live here in Tennessee, in Knoxville, Sonic, best ice ever best ice ever then we're going to take um our almond milk and i'm going to hold it up and see this is so weird because i'm used to i'm used to having to show you all so close and my i want to i want to get close <laughs> but i don't have to okay and then we're going to pour this on top so now we're going to pour the almond milk on top of that and look how pretty that already is i did not decorate my cup I did not decorate it like Ashley does, but we are going to, um, and thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia says, just wants to say how the reception is amazing and nice, and it's so clear and nice, yay! Um, and Cheryl, um, yeah, I mean, through the 28th, sure, sure you can. Okay, so now I've got my Carrie's sugar-free syrup, I've got my um, skinny syrup maple bourbon pecan, and I've got my Petal Java Turkey Days. All that's in here. I stirred it really well. I put my ice in. Now I've got my almond milk in there. It's just unsweetened almond milk. And get ready for the surprise because here it comes. No, the whipped cream is not the surprise. The surprise is we are going to top this with... And yes, Sonic does sell bags of ice. And yes, they do. We all, That's what John was in there digging. Okay. So we're going to top this with... A teaspoon if I can find my teaspoon again we're gonna to top this with a teaspoon of my recipe candied bacon so I'm just telling you I've already tasted this everything in here everything in this coffee was screaming bacon to me so this is my recipe candied bacon yes Kathy it is bacon it is bacon so this is my recipe candied bacon it is already on if you have an egg.com that is why you are getting the Red Mountain Rub, whoever wins this. That is why you're getting the Red Mountain Rub with this because this goes on my candied bacon. You have to have this to make the candied bacon. It was so, this was so delicious, so yummy. Now I will never be able to get um, a bacon piece up through this teeny tiny straw. You, pr pr you really need a milkshake straw, but I'll get a, I'm gonna get a sip of this and then I'm gonna eat a little bit with the bacon on there because trust me, it's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that tastes so good. And yes, it is candied bacon. Yep, and Marlene says, LOL, I was thinking it would be your bacon. Mm-hmm, yes, it's exactly my bacon. Okay, so let me get some of this with everything in it, including a little bit of bacon, just to try for you all. Because you know how I love to take one for the team and try things for you. So let's stir that up a little bit and get, be sure and get some bacon in there with our coffee. Is perfect. Of course, I got some ice too. Mmm. That's the perfect, perfect flavor with that. Perfect flavor. Oh, no, and Kim said there. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yep. That's perfect. Yep. Casey, you'll have one of these waiting on you when you get here in the morning. I will be sure and have one of those ready for you. So the bacon, and we've got about just a couple of minutes. John, how are you doing on the names? It's still 
Okay. John's still working on the names. You got about two, three minutes to finish up. Um, so John is still working on the names, getting those ready for us. Oh, and I forgot to put the fancy schmancy lid on there. Hold on. If I'm a real barista, I was supposed to put the little fancy schmancy lid on there. And then we can put Casey's little, little toasty on there. Look how cute this is. So look how cute this is with a little toasty on there. So that's going to keep my hands from getting cold while I sip down my bacon. My bacon. It is not really, it's not super, super sweet. So Teresa wants to know if it's really sweet. It is not super sweet. It's just sweet enough. And yes, Loretta is exactly right. Premier Protein would be really good with that coffee, with the Turkey Days coffee. The bacon, though, is already on the blog. It's already on if you have an egg.com. Um, and you can just go on over there and look up candied bacon. And it's literally bacon, Carrie's maple syrup, Red Mountain Rub, cook it in the air fryer. You are done. So super, super easy. So I have plenty of this left to make Casey and I a couple more of these coffees. And uh, Casey, I just was getting ready to say that. Casey says she sells others at Daisy Chain's cro Crochet. So she does have more. Of, um, of the little toasties. She's got more of those on there. And we will also have these at, um, we, all, we also will have these at the holiday market that we will be at this weekend with the Petal Javas. Okay, so we're gonna give John just another minute to finish up. And Michelle wants to know what the turkey, obviously it tastes good, Michelle, because I keep taking a sip of it. It's so good. It's like, I don't know, Michelle, if I had to, if I really had to, thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. So this many of you all, this many of you all, and yes, Taylor, she does sell awesome ones, awesome headbands. This many of you all have registered to win, but the turkey days, if I had to describe it, it's kind of like pecan and, I don't know, it's like pecan and brown sugar and... Yeah, and Susie, you can make it without a without an air fryer. Okay, and Casey says it's brown sugar, pecan, vanilla, and cinnamon. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so is everybody ready? Drum roll. Okay, so the contest is closed because we are getting ready to draw. So the first one is, again, it's an unopened one, but the first one is the, okay, okay. The first one is, a bottle of the Skinny Syrups Irish Cream, a thin, an unopened Dax um, Chocolate Crave, and one of Casey's um, one of Casey's little toasties, the little one that goes around the cup. And I'll tell you, I have I have a couple of the little toasties, and I have more of her koozies. The koozies keep your if you have ice in your water, it keeps them so cold. But these keep your hands from either getting cold or from getting too hot. But anyway, okay, so this is the first prize. But if I call your name, do not put your address, do not put your mailing address here in the live chat, okay? Because this is a public chat. So if I call your name, if I call your name, come out to the front of the class. No, you will want to message us. So however you normally message us. Um, and Carol, I ordered the cups. These cups I ordered on Amazon. Um, but however you normally message us, so if you send us a private message, if you email us, you can email us at um, if you have an egg at gmail.com. So however you normally contact us, that or we will reach out to you. Trust me, we will get a hold of you. But that is how we are going to get your address. So please do not put your address here on the live chat. Okay, so first one, Irish cream, Dax chocolate spices, little, and I keep trying to call it a little snoozy, Casey. Phew, a little toasty. Okay, so the first one is going to go to... Beanie, is Beanie still here? So just tell me. So Beanie, I think this is your first chat, right? So if you are still here, just say yes. Just say yes, hello, it's me, it's me, it's me. And if you are still here, then we will get a hold of you. We will find a way to get a hold of you and give you get you your wonderful prizes. So just let me know if you are still here so that we can all congratulate you. So let us know. Okay. I'm telling you, this one's so good. I can't quit drinking it. Okay, the second one, since we were just about to wrap up, and again, I want to thank you all very much for being here for chat number 200. This is so exciting, so exciting. We are so happy 
that this many people came and that y'all are enjoying it. Um, don't forget, if you are not the winner, sorry, then, you know, do use your coupon code if you need to buy anything, if you need to get anything from caseykitchencenter.com or from if you have an egg.com. But now it's time for the second one. And I know y'all are dying to try this coffee. I know you are. So this is a bag of the, again, locally roasted here in Knoxville, Tennessee, Turkey Days coffee from um, Petal Java. And then we have an unopened bottle of maple bourbon pecan from Skinny Syrups and some of the Dax Red Mountain Rub. So that y'all can make my awesome, um, you can make my awesome bacon. And let's see. Let me get the second one. The next one is <gasps> Barbara Mellon. Barbara, you're still here, aren't you? And did I pronounce it correctly? Barbara, congratulations, you won the second one. And I do know how to get a hold of you, so I will send you a message and you will be getting um, your thing shortly. So Casey, I think Casey and the girls are gonna work on getting those out tomorrow. So we'll be reaching out to you to get your, to get your information. But I hope y'all had a great time. I had a great time. I love doing this. I can't wait until we get to 300. Um, it's so exciting. But yeah, everybody um, congratulate Barbara too. Yay, good job, Barbara. Barbara Mellon. Um, and we will get these right out to you. So we will reach out to you and get your um, addresses. Remember, do not post your addresses here on the live chat. But thank you again, everybody, so much for being here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so excited. I got choked up. Just a second. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you all again so much for being here. And um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. I don't know which way to point. I think this way. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But if you want to watch the next video, just go ahead and let it roll on over. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please subscribe because this is so much fun. And you're going to subscribe down here if I'm pointing the right direction now and go ahead and click on the little bell so that you will know when our next video is available. And I think Dusty wants to come say bye for the 200th chat. Come here, Dusty. Come here. Yeah. Dusty, come on. Oh, he came in here and he was looking and now he bailed out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He thinks he's getting bacon. He thinks he's getting candy bacon. Oh, goodness. So here's Dusty to say good night and to say enjoy everyone and congratulations, Barbara. So he's going to tell you all good night and see you next week. But y'all have a great evening. Have a great week. Everybody have a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, so you all have an awesome week and we will see you later. Thanks again. And now i got to figure out how to turn this off. So give me just a minute. Um, good night.